I almost came off as a huge creep to a girl. Maybe I did, actually. I'm not too sure. Uh, but let me tell you the story. So there was this Korean tennis meetup, and initially I didn't really want to go. I didn't feel like it. I felt kind of tired, but I forced myself to go, and I'm glad I did because I had a ton of fun, especially when I got to play one-on-one -on -one with a guy who was a bit better than me. It was so much fun. I had a good time. So after the meetup was over, because it was getting dark, we met up near downtown, so I was driving three people home uptown and dropping them off at a central location. And so I dropped them off, the couple guys are getting off, and the girl behind me, I said, oh, I know you live further uptown, do you want me to drop you off? She said, oh, do you live nearby? And I said, well, you are kind of out of my way, but I can still drop you off if you want. And then she said, oh, my mom's coming to pick me up, actually. And then while she was saying that, she was showing me her phone. I, I didn't see the screen, but I'm assuming she was showing me the message saying, oh, I'm coming to pick you up from her mom. Um, I, I thought it was kind of odd why, why she was showing me that. I said, oh, okay, yeah, sounds good. All right, then, see ya. She, she was quiet for a bit, and then she said, can you open the door? And I said, what? I didn't lock the door. In fact, my car doesn't lock even when I'm driving just in case there's an accident and the door needs to be open. So it doesn't lock automatically. Neither did I lock it. And so I said, I didn't lock the door. I, you must have, the, the lock was right next to the handle. So she potentially just pushed the lock while she was trying to open it and locked herself in. So I said, I didn't lock it. And so I unlocked it uh, and, then, and then she was, she opened it and got out. And so I didn't think too much of it and I drove home and went to bed. Uh, but it was the next day that I was kind of, it popped into my mind. I was thinking, wait, so in her point of view, she couldn't get out of the door while the other guys were getting out. And, and then I was asking, oh, should I drop you off at home? And so I think she thought, you know, I locked her in and then I'm asking, I'll drop you off. And so that's why she got scared and showed me a message saying, oh, my mom is actually on her way. So, you know, there's proof that someone's actually coming to get me. Someone's looking out for me. So let me out now. Like that, that's maybe what was going on in her mind because she was locked in, right? And she, she thought I locked her in, right? And so I was thinking, oh, that's really creepy actually because if she thought I locked her in from her point of view. I was thinking, oh, I hope the communication went through that I didn't lock it and then she accidentally locked it. Uh, Cause if, if that didn't go through to her, then she definitely saw me as a big creep saying, oh, I, I locked this girl in and now I'm gonna drop her off at home. <sighs> Anyways, it, it got me a bit worried that I came off as a creep as a guy who locked her in the car. Maybe I'm thinking too much, but from her perspective, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So that's my story. It got me worried for a bit, but I'm trying not to think about it too much. Just bothered me for a little while and uh, just moving forward. Anyways, that's all I wanted to share.